Well, the best way he can take care of Kaepernick as a player is to say, we brought him in. I liked what I saw. Maybe a little too much. That guy's a starter, not a backup, so we went with a backup. It doesn't hold weight. It doesn't, it's not logically consistent. So you think it's some BS in there, but the question is, what is behind the BS? Is Pete Carroll trying to do something bad toward Kaepernick or something good? And it seems to me he's here trying to be as much of a player's coach as possible, even though this is not his player. Well, you sort of got it right, Max. Here's what it comes down to. Pete Carroll and the Seattle Seahawks were highly sensitive to what transpired with the whole Colin Kaepernick protest kneeling for the national anthem. If you remember, during the season, they banded together, locked arm in arm, showing solidarity, not just as a team and as a franchise, but as a league. And they wanted to bring attention to the injustices that Colin Kaepernick had alluded to, but they wanted to do it in a respectful way that didn't alienate the masses of the American population, like Kaepernick ultimately elected to do, whether unknowingly or knowingly. But in reality, also, he thought that Colin Kaepernick could fit as a backup because, again, he's not the greatest passer in the world, but he can throw the football. He's clearly a dual threat because he absolutely can run with the football. And obviously, that's an element that you would like to utilize in the event that Russell Wilson goes down for any reason. But then when Colin Kaepernick came to Seattle and started talking about how he's a starter and what have you, one could easily surmise that, okay, you're not going to get Russell Wilson's job. You pretty much knew that, but the chances are you'd be able to start start somewhere else. So if we're willing to look at you, maybe it would facilitate other teams looking at you. And that's the least that we could do because we respect where you're coming from as a man with what you try to bring attention to because the Michael Bennett's of the world and so many others have that kind of love for you. We feel obliged that an as an organization to lean in the direction of our players in this regard. So I think it's, you know, so Pete Carroll was like, this is the right thing to do. And that's why he did it. And you bring up Bennett, Stephen A., and Bennett, when he was going at it back and forth with you, pointed out the kind of work that he does, community work that he does on the ground, you know, in the trenches, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And you could understand why a team with vocal leaders like that on their team look at Kaepernick and say, whatever else you want to say about Kaepernick, that guy puts his money and his time where his mouth is, and he rolls up his sleeves and does the same kind of work that we do it, right, let's give him a look. Let's help this guy out. Yes. Real quick, yeah. I want to throw a number at you guys. 21 quarterbacks have now been signed this offseason, not named Colin Kaepernick. Can we officially well, confirm that it has to do with the protest now? Because initially I thought it didn't, but yes. now I'm swaying to the other side. Well, I've been saying that from day one. I Listen, the bottom line is this. I can sit up there and call... Colin Kaepernick's actions hypocritical, but that was only because I'm adamantly opposed to his position of publicizing the fact that he didn't vote. I had a problem with that. That is the only problem I have with Colin Kaepernick. There's no excuse on earth for 21 guys to be selected before Colin Kaepernick to be a backup in the National Football League. It is nonsense to think that he has not been blackballed. It is nonsense to think that he's not being blackballed. They are sending a message to Colin Kaepernick, but Having said all of that, we all need to put on our big boy and big girl pants and recognize why that is. The reason why is because the NFL, as is mostly the case with corporate America, is about dollars and cents. They are about making money and not doing anything to compromise or interfere with the ability to get money. And if you get in the way of that in any way, they're going to deal with you. I and since America, a vast majority of Americans, had turned against Colin Kaepernick, you have some NFL owners concerned, like Giants, Mara, and Tish and those mm -hmm. boys, concerned that it could potentially affect their bottom line. And that is where the hesitancy lies. Yeah, it's interesting. I don't know. If, if, you know, some people support Kaepernick, some people don't. If you side right. with the people who don't, to point out your bottom line, well, what about the people that do? do you, are you afraid of alienating them? I think it says a little bit more about the feelings of ownership you know, than it does necessarily always the bottom line. Um, in the beginning, when we were asked this question, Molly, I said it was too early to tell mm -hmm. because it seemed to me that Kaepernick wanted a starting job and he was a bubble starter. So who's going to pay him to start? But now I think the evidence is in. If he is willing to take a backup job and no one has given him one yet, Colin Kaepernick is certainly better than the majority of backups, if not all of them, and is actually better than a couple starters. So if he has no job at all as a quarterback in the NFL and is willing to take a backup job, then clearly this is backlash to his protest, and that is very unfortunate.
Yeah, and I'd have to believe that at this point. I know initially he wanted to be a starter and felt that he would that he he would be okay being a backup. I'm sure he just wants a job in the league. But the thing that could be unfortunate, and I know we were divided, and it was, you know, not the best way in terms of how he protested. But I'm curious to see if this is now going to discourage um, athletes from speaking out on certain issues, at least NFL well, players. Certainly the ones without the guaranteed contracts. Mm -hmm. But let's also keep in mind. Let's also keep in mind how Colin Kaepernick somewhat hurt himself. He was owed 12 million this year. He did opt out of that deal to put himself in free agency. And not only did he do that, but in the same breath, capitulated by saying he wouldn't protest anymore, which sort of diluted the impact of his yep. initial protest. Yep. So these are all things that he did to hurt himself. And that's unfortunate. Good point. A lot of layers to this one.